consider a simile of the wall with that of a human body. When the wall is made up of bricks, what is the human body made up of? Of course, the cells. A cell is considered the fundamental unit of an organism. This means that every organism is made up of cells. No living organism can live without being cellular except for a virus. Therefore, it is essential to understand the structure and functions of cells, to appreciate any organism's capabilities and limitations, whether it be an animal, plant, fungi, or any microorganism. Cell biology is the branch of biology that deals with the structure, function, and behavior of cells. In the year 1665, scientist Robert Hooke observed the dead cells of cork tissue under the microscope. He saw tiny box-like cavities, which he described as cells, and published his observations in his book, Micrographia. The word cell is derived from the Latin word, cellus, which means, small space. Antony van Leeuwenhoek became the first scientist to observe live cells, when he observed cells of spirogyra under a microscope. Later in 1831, Robert Brown, a Scottish botanist, discovered a round-shaped structure in the plant cells and named it a nucleus. Based on these discoveries and other observations, Matthias Schleiden and Theodore Schwann proposed two basic principles and called the cell theory. The cell theory includes two basic principles. All organisms are made up of cells. The cell is the basic, structural, functional, and physiological unit of life. Later, a third principle was included in this cell theory by Rudolf Virchow. He stated that all cells arise from pre existing cells. This is commonly known as the Latin phrase, omnis cellulae cellula. Do you think all organisms are made of the same size of cells? The cells vary greatly in size. Name the smallest cell and the largest cells known. For example, mycoplasma is considered the smallest cell, measuring 0.3 micrometers in length. In comparison, the ostrich egg cell is considered the largest cell before fertilization. Can you guess the name of the longest cell ever known to us? Among multicellular organisms, the human nerve cell is considered to be one of the longest cells. Cells vary greatly in their shapes as well. For example, human red blood cells are round and biconcave. In contrast, the epithelial cells can be flat, cuboidal, or columnar in shape. Not only multicellular but even unicellular organisms, like bacteria, exist in different shapes, like spherical, rod, spiral, and comma-shaped. To know about the components of the cell includes the cell wall, plasma membrane, nucleus, and cytoplasm with cell organelles. These are the brief points on the cell, its discovery, and its characteristics.